everybody, Dustin checking in, Hike Brothers Outdoors. Uh, hope everybody's deer season, duck season's going well. Uh, before you know it here, we're going to be on ice season. So I got a quick tip here for you, a little DIY project, save you a ton of time out there on the ice. We're kind of in that in-between time right now. It's a great time to start doing some prep work for the next season, work on your boat for next summer, do whatever. I got a bunch of stuff in the works right now. Every one of us has faced this issue when we're out on the ice. A uh, certain jig seems to be out fishing the others. You go to grab one out of your box and you end up with something that looks about like that. It's frustrating, it sucks. I'm gonna show you a sweet way to organize your box all by color right there and those suckers are in there they're not coming out they're not bouncing around i mean check that out it's inexpensive it's super easy and it takes one tool got an old plano plastic box here just the standard ones i'm sure everybody's got one laying around if not they're only probably four or five bucks if you need to pick up a new one and i've got a piece of this black packing foam it seems to come on everything these days, electronics, furniture, whatever. This one came from a piece of HVAC equipment at work today. So then I've got my utility knife here, just a standard regular blade utility knife. I'm sure everyone has one of these around. If you don't, you can use a fillet knife or whatever. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this and place it right on top of the Plano tray and I'm just gonna put a bunch of weight on it. That way I can get the impression of the box into the foam and I'll have a line to cut. You check it out, you can see the lines there. I'm just gonna take my knife and cut all the way through. Be careful not to cut yourself. There we go, got it all cut out. Pull that off and do a quick test fit on there. You know it's going to be perfect because you're literally following the exact line. It fits in there nice and firm, nice and snug. It's not coming out. Well, now I'm going to try to peel that sucker out of there. All right. Now you're going to take your blade and retract it about halfway. If you don't have a retractable blade, just try to gauge cutting about halfway through it, okay? I'm going to take the foam, I'm trying to hold it up here so you can see. I'm going to cut a line right down the center of the foam, halfway into the thickness of the foam. Okay, open it up like that. Hello. Throw that back in your box. Then you're going to take your spoons. Just like this. And that's actually my favorite Devil's Lake one right there. Thanks, Chad. And you're going to push that in there. Check it out. That is not going anywhere. Bouncing around in the four-wheeler, in your wheelhouse, whatever, when you're buzzing across the ice, you're golden. It's going to protect the finish. It's going to make it super easy to get, especially when your hands are freezing. So anyway, guys, check out this giveaway we got going for, uh, for a kid out there. Uh, we appreciate you watching. Stay tuned, guys. All right, guys, I'm sure you noticed the fish house in the background during the DIY section of the video. Uh, my father-in-law donated this. He wanted it to go to somebody who could appreciate it and use it. It's his old house. It's got a few patches in it, but in pretty good shape. Guys, we want to give this away to a young, new ice fisherman out there.